I, I think that this, this idea that we're to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's is an interesting one because Dorothy Day said, once we've given to God what is God's, there's not much left for Caesar. And, and I think a lot of times we, you, we, 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 we miss the point of what Jesus was doing there, which I, I think he's, he's spinning everything on its head and calling into question what is Caesar's. Like Caesar can have his coins, right? Like Caesar can print a piece of metal with his picture on it, give it, give it back, give to it him. back to him. But like I have made humanity, and that has my image on it. Caesar has no right to that. Uh, and and, and I, I, I think that, that we see this conflict in, in Paul's writing, this working through of it, because on the one hand, he says we're to, to respect and submit to the authorities, but then in, in Ephesians, he uses the exact same words and says that we are to wrestle against, not flesh and blood, but the authorities of this dark world that we're living in. And, you know, of course, like, the one that says respect the authorities goes to jail and gets beaten up for subverting the authorities. You know, so I think it's, it's a beautiful uh, dissonance, to, to, to dialectic to live in that. Um, and I, I see in Jesus what, what John Howard Yoder calls revolutionary subordination. Yes. This idea that we're to, to submit ourselves to the authorities, but we expose their evil and their darkness by allowing them to pour, you know, to... to um, you know, throw us in jail, or Dr. Yes. Dr. King says so well, you can throw us in jail and we'll still love you. You can threaten to burn down our houses and we'll still love you. You can put your dogs on us and shoot us with your water hoses and we will still love you, but we will wear you down by yeah. our love. And yeah. I think that's exactly what Jesus does in Colossians. It says that as he died on the cross, he made a public spectacle of the powers and authorities of this world. And, and, and that, that's a beautiful image that I, I think the greatest theological stunt ever pulled, you know, this resurrection uh, 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 rising above all of the wrath of empire. And